Welcome back to Coffee with Cody. Uh, in full swing of fall here, we're going to make the pumpkin spice blend today. It's a fall favorite for all. Uh, being as it's a pumpkin spice blend, we're going to need a blender. We're going to need hot, freshly brewed coffee. We're going to need a measuring cup to measure the coffee. We're also going to need a couple of measuring spoons. Uh, we're going to be using a one tablespoon and a one teaspoon. We're going to use organic raw cane sugar for sweetener, ghee for sustenance and the healthy deliciousness that comes with that. And then for flavor, we're going to just use pumpkin extract. And that's going to keep our ingredients to as minimal as possible and make it very healthy yet indulgent. To start with, we're going to preheat our blend. Just like we did when we made our press, we want our tools nice and warm. That makes sure that when we have our coffee, it stays nice and warm. At least we'll lose some temp. So first thing I like to do is take and put the extract right in the bottom. We're going to make an 8 ounce cup of coffee. So we're going to use 1 teaspoon of extract. And then I'm going to take and do 1 tablespoon of raw cane sugar. That sounds like a lot of sugar, but really when it's raw sugar it's, it's a lot less as far as compared to using refined sugar. Then we're going to take that one tablespoon scoop again and we're going to get a nice level scoop of ghee in there. Ghee's not going to come out the best. My recommendation for you is to then measure out your coffee. Since we're having an 8 ounce cup, I'll usually measure it just a hair less than 8 ounces. Um, but you can always tweak this to taste for yourself. To get that ghee out of there, I like to just pour the hot coffee right over the spoon. And you'll see it poured right out of there. Almost like having ice cream. Now, simple enough, put the lid on the blender. doesn't take much blending, it's just trying to micro-infuse all those ingredients together. You'll see we got it nice and hot, very frothy. And you'll pour that out. Uh, you can use a topping to enhance the flavor to your personal preference. I like to use a simple uh, pumpkin spice topping. Um, nutmeg is also very good. Um, some people like allspice. It really depends on what you like in your pumpkin spice. But uh, go ahead and make it at home and enjoy the fall flavors. <laughs> 